Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I want to show you how to record cashback transactions. So let's get started. Now, um, in PayPal, you get cash back if you use your debit card, and you may have also credits in your credit card for items that you purchased or places that you went. So in that case, what you really want to do is put it back to the account that you spent, that you used that for, or that you got that for. Um, so let's go into, in order to record, it's usually a deposit. If it's a credit card credit, you would want to record it under credit card credit. Um, if it's PayPal, you want to do a bank deposit. And um, you want to go down here where it says received from, you can put PayPal debit cash back. And the account would be um, to whatever account that um, you bought the, that they gave you cash back for. And I believe PayPal does um, tell you what it was for. Um, so you can select the account. So if it was for office expense, you can put office expense. If it's for products that you purchased, um, you can put it under cost of goods. Um, so it, essentially that credit should go back or that cash back should go back to um, the product or the accounts where you purchased the product, the item. Now, if, if it's general and it doesn't give you um, you know, what it was for, you can create an account for it. Um, and you want to create it under other income. Um, in some cases, sometimes it's very minimal, like cents, like 10 cents. Um, it might not even make a difference, but you want to try to put it back into, um, into the account that you bought it for. There are also some places where um, they give you money for purchasing um, items online. In that case, you want to put it back to your cost of goods, if that's the case, or whatever you um, expense the original transaction. So let's say, say this is $5, and then in the description, oh, excuse me, in the description you could put, um, like, for what month? January cash back. Um, and that's how you record um, PayPal transactions. And then you can reconcile uh, these deposits um, when you're doing your reconciliation in the financial summary. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.